Hello, I'm JR. This is Focus on Asia. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my wife Cecilia and I like to travel around Asia, mainly Southeast Asia, and uh, just document our travels for you. Show hotel costs, food costs, transportation costs, and uh, yeah, share our experience. So in today's video, we're in Kuala Lumpur, and we're just checking out the sites, mainly food, and uh, visit some of the iconic buildings there. So come along, and uh, let's explore KL together. Let's go. Tonight we're just showing you a little uh, Kuala Lumpur at night. We're headed to the Petronas Towers just to see them at night. We've never uh, been to them at night, just daytime, been up in it. So let's go check them out. This is the bottom of the Petronas Towers. You see these, uh, it's like stainless steel, man. It's pretty cool looking. Check out our video if you get a chance. I'll put it in the description of uh, when we came here two years ago and went up to the sky bridge in here. We're not gonna do that on this trip, but we wanted to come over at nighttime and check them out, so. Pretty cool architectural wonder. Still one of the tallest buildings in the world. Tallest towers for sure. Let's go check it out. So these towers, these, these have been built for quite a while, man. And look at look at the amount of people it still attract. This is a Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Tons of people out here taking selfies, taking video, hanging out. It's pretty cool, man. That's what happens when you build, you know, some iconic buildings like this. And KL's got a few of them now, so. Good on them. Tonight's dinner. There's Miss Cecilia. Hello, Miss Cecilia. We're just walking around exploring and we ran into this izakaya. And it actually looks like a Japanese chef is on station. And uh, it's got Japanese prices. <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna eat here. We're gonna get some, we ordered some yakitori, ordered some beer. And uh, we'll show you the food when we get it. All right, I got a couple skewers came out. We got uh, sweet potatoes and some Wagyu beef. Kimchi. Couple of beers. So drafts, <clears throat> if you buy one beer, it's like 20 ringgit, which is about five bucks, less than five bucks. If you buy three, it's 55. So they're small. We got three. We got some more food coming. 
All right, got two skewers of gizzards. That's one of me and Mrs. Cecilia's favorites. And then we got this exotic dish right here. White Japanese rice. There's our yakitori, otherwise known as chicken. And that's uh, all we got ordered for now. This uh, beef skewer, absolutely fantastic. Is it Wagyu? I don't know. It's tender as shit and tasty. All right, the food was excellent. I actually got two more of the the uh, Wagyu, Australian Wagyu beef skewers, man. They were so tasty. Grand total, little little pricey for here in Malaysia. 222.65 ringgit. I'll put a conversion there, but it's less than 50 bucks. So I think that's uh, pretty good for some quality. You can taste the quality of the meats, the skewers, even the sweet potato. <laughs> Believe it or not, three beers, a big big bottle of water, and uh, you've seen the rest. So I think it's pretty good. Tono Izakaya here in Kuala Lumpur. Look them up. I have no idea where we're at. I feel totally out of my element. <laughs> I'll spin this around, I'll show you why. Louis Vuitton, Dior, Valentino. This place is fancy. We came here for one reason, lunch. Really nice mall. Something unusual you won't see in the States anymore, here in Asia. They have a residence building connected to this. So, pretty convenient, man. You got your condo, come down into fanciness, mall, all your shopping. I don't know how, how uh, low budget stores they have, but there's a lot of high end stores in there for sure. Let's go get some lunch. There's the restaurants on like seven levels Pizza Hut, Taco James, Golden Taco, Nando's, Burger King for you, Burger King Fanatics, Krispy Kreme, they got everything. We're going up. All right, we came up one one escalator, and it brought us to level four. Again, the malls here, their numbering are wacky. They count like basements as like level one. So we were actually on level three, which is the bottom floor that connects to the street. Weird. Let's go find our uh, restaurant. Yes, that's our lunch today. Five Guys. Got to give Shake Shack a break. Haven't had Five Guys in about three and a half, four years. So, see how it is over here in Asia. This is the first one I've uh, been to. Looks all the same in here. Got all the red and black and white checkers and they got the potatoes. I haven't seen any peanuts though. Looks like same menu as well, so show you the food. Alright. Looks legit, looks the same as the States. I got the double, which is the regular. So you got the little cheeseburger, the mushrooms, and some other stuff you got on there. There's a regular fries with the amount in the bag, and that's the same as the States, man. They do that crazy amount of fries. So looks pretty good. Give you a uh, total. I think the price is about the same as the States, too. It's not cheap, so just a heads up. You're not getting a discount for being in Southeast Asia. All right, five guys. Legit. Tastes exactly like the States, except I think it was better. The service was better. The way they were cooking, I was watching them. 
wasn't like sloppily thrown around. Like that's why I kind of got tired of Five Guys, man. You get a burger and it was a, just a big mess. But anyways, I'll still put Five Guys behind Shake Shack. It's my number two. My true number one is Fuddruckers. But there ain't that many left in the States and I ain't never seen one overseas. Really used to enjoy Fuddruckers. But uh, Shake Shack is my number one now and Five Guys is right behind them. The burger was really tasty. Uh, grand total, 117.50 ringgit. I'll put a conversion right there, but it's around 25 bucks, which is about the same as the US. A double burger, a single burger, regular fry, two bottles of water. So compare that to where you're at if you got a Five Guys. I think it's about the same. Dinner is here. Mama, what's in? Did I pronounce that right? Probably not. <laughs> it's a local place. We'll, uh, grab some food, some dinner. All right, first dish has arrived. This is chicken 65. What 65 indicates? I don't know. They also had a beef 65, I think, or a lamb 65. 65 spices. 65 days marinating. <laughs> I have no idea. Got a little calamansi, man. All right, got tandoori chicken showed up, and it's true tandoori. They got the oven over there, which I showed you. This is a garlic naan. And then we got a paratha coming, which is another type of flatbread. I think that's it, right? There we go. So we're gonna get to eat and we'll show you the uh, paratha. All right, sometimes you gotta wait for homemade things, man. We're already done eating all our chicken, man. Chicken was good. This chicken 65, I don't know what the 65 signifies, but a little bit spicy and really good. Here's our paratha, paratha, paratha. Comes with sauce, got like a potato in there. But this, uh, this is only like 1.5 ringgit, I think, which is like insane. That's like, uh, 40 cents and uh, we just now got it after we're finished our meal <laughs> but all good food was really good you can see me behind me it's a big place they have Indian food I actually have a little bit of Thai on the menu and uh, but it's mostly Indian and local Malay Malay food and uh, grand total if you can believe this 29.45 ringgit I'll put a conversion there but it's less than seven dollars for two people let's just say you had a coconut coconut juice a whole coconut we had those you seen what we had a lot of food less than seven dollars crazy right next door to where we're staying at this is called VCR they got upstairs seating it's basically a cafe specialized coffee shop Lots of coffees and teas, drinks, but they got food as well. Uh, we got breakfast, even though it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. That was the most appealing thing on the menu. They do have some pastas and then some other kind of foo foo food. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. But um, show you the food here when we get it. You got your choice of scrambled, 
or sunny side up eggs. They can't cook them any other way. It's kind of weird. Chicken ham because you, you know the reason why. Tomato, mushrooms, some beans, some uh, sausage, and this is sourdough. Looks pretty good. Avocado toast looks like two pieces with avocado and one sunny side up egg. All right, food was very good. Total was 78.90 ringgit. I'll put a conversion there, but it's basically under 17 bucks. So, not bad. How was your food? Good. Good? All right, got the thumbs up. So you approved. The front of VCR. Got some outside seating here, I guess, for the coffee drinkers. Got this cool, I always like these when they do the seating around the tree. Got this nice uh, flowering tree right here. And uh, this is our residences right here. Swiss residence. So, pretty cool place. Close and convenient. All right, this right here is the entrance to GMBB. My understanding, it's kind of like a, uh, not like a workspace, but for artists, I think uh, it's like a cheaper place for them to show their art. And uh, there's all kinds of things in there, textiles, crafts. There's some food places in here. So we're gonna go check it out, see what kind of art they got here in the local area. If you look up there, there's nine, nine friggin floors in this place i didn't realize it was this big but let's check it out so it looks like uh all handmade clothes crafts even some rattan items but this whole mall like i said it's like a collective of artists all this stuff is all obviously locally made here in Malaysia. see these small little retail places artists have their paintings <clears throat> some handcraft sewing you know clothes and other gifts uh, even books so pretty cool place you can see there's small little cafes as well in here one here in the corner little Bakery over here. Looks like uh, egg tart, Portuguese egg tart, traditional Hong Kong egg tart. I prefer the Portuguese. Matcha red bean, pearl gray egg tart. This place even has classes about agriculture. Seen a cooking class already. So we're on level three, and there's nine. So many artists, so much art in this place.
So you see, they even got stuff like uh, jewelry and stuff. And uh, what I like about this place, let me get over here away from uh, people where they can hear me. Anyways, <laughs> what I was gonna say is I like what I like about this place is I already met two artists that you can tell have autism. So that's pretty cool. This this place gives them a space to uh, have an outlet for their art. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, our visit to this little uh, art consortium is done. Uh, only goes up like four or five. The other floors are used for little conferences or something. I'm not sure, but anyways, pretty cool place. Highly recommend if you come to Kuala Lumpur. Check it out. Today we're at our noodle place next to the uh, condo that we're staying at. Eating in here before, you may have seen it in this video, but that's all right. We're getting uh, a couple different dishes, and uh, the noodles look like spaghetti, but far from it. Homemade noodles, hand pulled. Gentleman's doing it right now, and uh, super, super delicious. The texture is perfect. Show you that hair when it come out. Hand rolled dough, and then pulled every order. It's going through it right now. I know it's blocked of you a little, but you can see it. And you've seen it before, to so say you got it on their phone video. Every order, and then dropped into the pot of water. One thing about this restaurant too, man, the portion sizes are not small. This was like uh, 19 ringgit, I think, less than five bucks. This is cumin beef mixed noodles. It's got some peppers, assuming cumin flavor. So, show you the uh, other dishes when they come out. All right, Mrs. Cities has come out. This is the uh, beef noodles with pickled Chinese cabbage. Look at the noodles, man. Some of the best noodles that I've ever seen in my life. This is right up there with Japanese ramen. And hers looks thinner. Yours look thinner, right? Yeah. And mine. Yeah. yeah. So it's totally different noodles. He's, he's pulling two different type of noodles. Craziness. So this comes with a red chili. To put it scattered over here on the table. But uh, we asked that. Have them omit it. And then she can adjust the chili chili sauce on her own. Let's do it. Yeah, man. Beef. Yeah. Well, with the size of this portion, the size of that portion, did we need these? No, but they're really delicious, these dumplings. See how golden brown they are, man. Really good. Probably the same kind of dough as this. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna get to eat and give you a total. All right, noodles were outstanding. Grand total, 64 ringgit. I'll put a conversion there, but you're looking at 15 bucks. exploring again this is Bukit Bintang City Center it's a uh, large mall mainly Japanese Japanese whole sections in there Japanese stores Japanese restaurants so that's kind of our thing let's go check it out this is the main drag on the outside there's Hut Saki Saki Bar like this is like a German place over here. What's on tap? 
you know, for a place that uh, is predominantly Muslim, man, they got they got enough beer places to get you going. Obviously, the whole population ain't Muslim, but you know what I'm saying. I think the mall portion is up here. There's an escalator over here, so we'll go ahead in there and go check it out. pretty cool man lots of food choices in here you go to the lower ground level LG1 and there's a ton a lot of Japanese choices this happens to be Sakaya uh, it's a Gayudon rice bowl chain beef rice bowl chain out of Japan um, similar to Yoshinoya and uh, I'll show you the food when we get it all right, here's the food. This is what Yoshinoya is famous for, the beef bowl. Slow cooked thin beef, fatty beef with onions over rice. This is a set, came with a watermelon and a drink, and then I added this on for a couple ringgit, some gyoza. Mississippi's got, this is a medium. Mine is a large, so I think it's more about the uh, rice, because she looks like she got just as much meat as I did, so. Uh, I should have probably just went with a meeting. But it's all good. That's insane. There's a guy right here for reference. Hello, guys. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's a hot one here in Kuala Lumpur today. It's our last full day in KL. We take the train tomorrow uh, to Malacca. We don't actually get to Malacca by train. There is no train, uh, but close enough, and then you take a grab or taxi. Anyways, lunch today, we're at Gate Halab Restaurant and Lounge. It's a hookah, 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 hookah. I don't want to say hooker, <laughs> hookah bar. And, uh, not exactly sure. Middle, Middle Eastern food. So, show you the food when it comes up. Show you a little bit in here. This is our view. We're right off the main road. Lot 10 mall over there. Let's get to ordering. Appetizers come out. I got some baba ganoush. Comes with bread. I got a lemon iced tea. This tea is uh, potent, really strong. This is how you get a uh, melon melon shake. All right, shawarmas come out. It's a mixed shawarma, beef and chicken. Man, this shit looks good. I said this shit looks good. <laughs> Just came out, sorry. This is the place we went to eat. Entrance Pinto Halab Gate Restaurant. Gate Halab. You see up there, that's where we were at. The downstairs, both of them is packed right now. This place is very busy. Uh, grand total, 141.90 ring in. I'll put a conversion there, but about 30 bucks. Really good food. We're stuffed. Gotta go walk it off, go check out a mall. All right, this place gotta be good because there's been a line the whole time. The line goes all the way down there. Look at the size of this shawarma. This thing's are enormous. All 
All right, let's wrap up this Kuala Lumpur video. It was a good seven nights there, one week spent. Uh, as you've seen the video, some pretty cool shots at night. Lots of good food. Again, for me in Mississippi, it's just our taste. We're not that big on uh, a lot of the Malaysian food, so we, we stuck to uh, mostly Western and Chinese on this trip so far in Malaysia, but that's all right. We're still enjoying our time. Um, next video coming out will be from here in Malacca. And so uh, just one video from here. So appreciate you guys watching. As always, appreciate our subscribers. If you got the time, only takes a second. Hit that like button. Make a comment. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video from Malacca, Malaysia. Take care.